Most organizations today have installed and are using physical access control systems. Physical access control systems control the access to doors and different areas within your organization today. What you typically do in a physical access control system is you go into that system, you import or enter users, and then you enter access rights, and you're going to assign in a fairly static way, this person has access to that. Once you've done that, that person then using their access badge or a similar credential is able to open doors and go through your facilities based on their access levels. Now, what is a physical identity and access management system? How does it compare to that? Think of it as a software layer that sits on top of your existing physical access control system. And the whole idea is that instead of manually going into the physical access control system and managing your users and access rights, you're going to use this new layer, physical identity and access management, to do all of that on your behalf. A physical identity and access management as such integrates with your physical access control system. We call the physical access control system the system that sits southbound of the physical identity and access management layer. But that same PIM system also integrates and pulls information from other systems in your organization. And more specifically, people-related systems. Think of Active Directory and HR system like Workday and enterprise IT systems that may contain information that is valuable, important to do good and proper access control. One simple example, a learning management system. In some cases, you want, in order for people to access a certain area, you want those people to have gone through a certain training or hold a certain certification, things that are typically managed in a learning management system. 